so he was so he on to the day for the for he will show to you today for the Egyptians for the Egyptian whom he has seen when he has seen today today he them no more, no more uh, forever. forever for for no more forever it's like this and you see the gospel being preached throughout the corners of the earth. Brothers are standing firm. They're not backing down. And a lot of brothers are standing bold. And they teach the gospel bold. And they're rebuking the elders, the so-called elder men of these camps. Not only that, but they're also rebuking these of the world. Did he spare on Israel? Or did he only spare Noah's house, man? Let that sink in. Now for a time, there was a regeneration. Because we have been given a second chance through the grace and mercy of the Most High, man. But that time will come to an end. Matter of fact, let's get it. And ye that which have followed me, followed him, meaning believe, walked in his works and sin, believed in his gospel, read, in the regeneration. So going through Hamashiach, you have been accepted into the regeneration. If you don't accept him, then how can you be a regeneration of him? It's simple. Regenerate means to be done again. But if you don't accept him, how can you be regenerated? Let me read that again from the top. He said, I should make of your sons Nazarites. Come. He didn't say your father and mother are going to be going into the regeneration. He literally just said it here in verse 29. He never said that once, man. These niggas have made this doctrine up based off regeneration. And have trapped a lot of brothers in it. They can't even shake it, man. Mine seared with a stupid doctrine. Huh? Seared with it. Just like nigga worried to, oh, you can't receive it by the spirit that, that Marshall ain't King David, then you can't receive it by. Where is it spiritual at? When he said David should dwell amongst us, but your David is dead. Huh? Seared with it. Just like nigga worried to, oh, you can't receive it by the spirit that, that Marshall ain't King David, then you can't receive it by. Where is it spiritual at? When he said, David should dwell amongst us, but your David is dead. But then you talking about they gonna raise, he gonna be raised up, and he gonna walk, he gonna be the king. Like, get the hell out of here, man. We know who our king is. Two thirds coming back to the one third is a famous vain Babylon. Masha is King David. All y'all's the priest is John the Baptist. Those are all famed Babylon, including the two coming out of one west. Vain Babylons, man. Oh. So it's supposed to shun those things. Yes. Vain babblings, man. Ah. So I'm supposed to shun those things. Yes. Vain babblings, man. Ah. So I'm supposed to shun those things. Yes. Vain babblings, man. Ah. So I'm supposed to shun those things. Who taught this doctrine? We know who taught it, but we want to know. And again, I'm, I'm willing to hear any brother out to see what their understanding is on it. But it's not there. The Two thirds being, being brought back to the one third. Where is it in scripture? He didn't say your father and mother are going to be going into the regeneration. He literally just said it here. But brothers will have you think that it's the entire nation of Israel and everybody's going to be redeemed and everybody's going to be saved. That's not true. That's a fallacy. Yes. Vain babblings, man. Ah. So I'm supposed to shun those things. Yes. Vain babblings, man. Ah. So I'm supposed to shun those things. Yes. Vain babblings, man. Ah. So I'm supposed to shun those things. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops as well of Great Millstone. Honors and salute support, you know, to you brethren, you fellow believers, you few, even you few sisters. Also, Shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom to the elect. Peace to you. Shalom. So. I want to go back on another edition in this video. Um, first off, we must understand this is a spiritual thing. And uh, Matthew 13 and 9 says it's given to the elect to know the mysteries. Now, before I get started, these these brothers here, they're out teaching. You know, they have some form of rage. I'm not saying rage. They just have some form of disgruntledness because um, I don't know about the brother in the red with the um, 
you know, the piece around his neck, the manure around his neck, and big chain, and no garment. I, I don't know him. Maybe he just popped up for something to do. Maybe he's from another camp. I don't know. But this guy, Bishop Melchizedek, he's just, he's out there all the time, and he's just talking about different camps. That's all he can do. I, I don't understand why he just don't go teach the word of the Lord. And if his doctrine will prevail, then you teach your doctrine. But we will mark you that caused the vision because you're wearing, you know, you kind of got that look out of the one West, which you don't believe in the one West. You talk about King Masha and King David, right? And, and if it wasn't for those men through the spirit of the Lord, you wouldn't be out doing what you're doing. So where's your respect? Yeah, you know, he's dead. So what? The spirit is with us. Is that what you said about Yahawashai after he died? Anyway, um, which Yahawashai resurrected. But the point is, Apostle Paul died, right? Isaiah died. All the prophets so-called died So, on, on this side. So I don't know where the hell he's, what the hell he's talking about. But what I want to touch on with these disgruntled reprobates gone in full-blown mode, bug out mode. I want to touch on the two thirds. That's what I want to go into real quick. I have quite a few scriptures lined up, so I'm just going to probably touch and touch and go. Amos three and one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities." So at the end of the day, he, somehow he feels the two thirds, your mama, your father, or who, well, your father, your mother, your, your brothers, your sisters, and whoever else, they're not going to make it. Um, you, you're just going to, they're just going to be left out. You know, they, the Lord's just going to discontinue them. When the Lord created these spirits for a reason, it's a show that he puts on. And um, he created two thirds to be two thirds. He created the elect to be the elect. So he says the whole family, which is talking about the whole house of Israel. Now there's a difference between being delivered and ultimately being saved, right? When you're de delivered, you're going to be delivered uh, after the um, before the destruction. You'll be delivered, but two thirds will be saved through the one third, which he doesn't believe that. And if you don't believe that, I mean, we need to, we need a scripture to tell you what the mark is and you believe in that, right? But we could clearly see what that is or what America is. doesn't say America in the Bible, but let's go on. Jeremiah 31 and one. Well, let me go to, um, yeah, let me go to, it's so many scriptures on that. I'm just trying to get to what I can get to first. Let's go to Zechariah 13 and 8. Let me go there first. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. I believe he agrees with that. And a third shall be left therein. Right? And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold to be tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. Right. So we're going to get further into that. We just wanted to prove that two thirds will be cut off and die. And he knows that at least I believe he knows that. So we're going to go into um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 and, and, uh, and, and 10. Is there anything wherein it may be said, see, this is new? I have, it had been already of old time, which were before us. So he spoke to Noah and what happened with Noah and what happened in that situation. So you would see um, the same situation being re reincarnated back again. Because those same Israelites, according to what he teach, the two-thirds will be cut off. Well, why did the two-thirds keep coming back? Right? They came back, and they're going to continue to come back. Right? And it says, there is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be remembrance of 
things that are to come with those that shall come after, right? Because when you come back, there's, you know, there's some things that's kept in you and some things you don't, you don't, you actually just don't know. Like we don't know if we the elect and he's preaching uh, is saying, well, I believe. So as long as I believe I'm pretty much the elect, that's a Christian doctrine because you do not know. Matthew seven says many shall say in that day, Lord, Lord. Daniel 12 says many shall be purified white, but none of the wicked shall understand. Understand what? Just because you call on the name Yahweh don't mean you understand. They was called it. They said his name back then. That's why he turned to the other disciples and said it's given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but unto them it isn't given. So you can call on Yahweh Shah. That don't mean you understand. Just because you do a Passover or a Sabbath day, that still doesn't mean you fully understand. You know, narrow is the way. You know, it's not that <laughs> these guys making it seem like it's a, a breeze, a walk in a breeze to come into the kingdom. But this is what I want to get to the point here. Jeremiah 31 and 1, which we're going to back this up in Hebrews. Um, well, let's go to um, Romans 11, 26. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the deliverer, right? And right there when it says the deliverer, there's a comma. And then it goes on to say, and he shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Who's Jacob? Well, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go to, um, let's go to this in the blue letter. Let's go to, um, well, who's Jacob? Well, we know who Jacob is, but when he says he shall turn away the ungodliness from Jacob, let's see. It says here, I'm going to the Strong's, uh, Hebrew origin, Jacob, the progenitor of the Israelites. Which ultimately, ultimately goes back to the Israelites. He shall turn ungodliness from Jacob. And it says, in all Israel, this is saying the family of Yahweh, right? Family of God, of the church, Christian church, you know, the stock family, descendants of one. This is why it says ungodliness from Jacob. So we're going to go real quick to Jeremiah 31 and 1 just to bring this home uh he wants to know is there a scripture saying that men is going to lay with wives and uh i mean literally lay with wives and bring back um the children of israel so if the children of israel two-thirds are going to be cut off and die but yet all israel shall be saved let's go on let's see this jeremiah 31 and 1 and at the same time say if the lord will i be a god of all the families of Israel and they shall be my people. And this is a future prophecy. This is why I believe I can't, I don't remember because I think he took down some comments. Uh, let me see if I could find it. I just want to quote what a brother um, put in the comment for this, this video. I know it off the top, but I want to see if I can find it. There's a, as a, big scripture that proved that and the question would be uh the question would be how not basically how they're going to come back we know that but are they going to come back and in this guy's mindset he doesn't believe he doesn't believe they're going to come back at all you know he said your father's not coming back nobody's coming back uh, so like I can't find the brother. He put the he put it in there, of Isaiah forty five. And seventeen, it, it's hard to deal with all these. Um, I got different channels, so I'm trying to figure out which channel it was on. Um, but he had the channel. I mean, he had the um. He had to comment on there. I, I was Isaiah forty five and seventeen. I don't know what happened to the comments. Sometimes they take them down. Um, 
Yeah, sometimes they take them down. I don't see it. But the brother put the, the scripture in there, Isaiah 45 and 17, and it says, So all um, Israel shall be saved, world, world without end. I'm just quoting. And Israel shall be saved in everlasting salvation, world. And what is that world? The world of Israelites. So let's go back to Jeremiah 31 and 1. And in the same time, saith the Lord, will I be a God of, of all the families of the Israelites, and they shall be my people. How do we know this? And let's go to Hebrews 8. Hebrews 8, and I'm going to just jump to 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind. And write them in their hearts, and I will be the, to them a God, and they should be to me a people. Unless this guy is saying we are in a new covenant, which is blasphemy. There is no way we're in a new covenant. We're not, um, and it, it, that would make the Lord a liar. The only way we would be able to, he would write his laws in us, and we would be able to keep the laws that he write in us, you know, would have to be in a new situation, right? It'll, it'll prove it. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. So who's this talking about? Right? For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Here we go. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and to their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he saith a new covenant. He hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So if you can't see it from there, then you have a serious problem. Right? And that's what it is. You know, and this is what happens when a child becomes uh, left to himself. This guy stands on the, I see all the videos, he's in the same parking lot. Well, at least he got out of the car. I mean, these are young men, you know. So, you know, you young men, you should, you know, personally... You know, you should be out on the hedges. I don't know if you call that the hedges. I guess it is. But you should be in a some form of location where at least people are walking back and forth. You know, you don't walk outside of your apartment complex, stand beside a couple of poles and, you know, and maybe the other brothers from the same complex. I don't know. Then y'all meet up and stand there. And then when you shut down, I don't believe this guy's meant, you know, he should really be out there, you know. And the reason why I say that, uh, I saw a guy walk by. You know, I guess you're supposed to watch and make sure your surroundings. But this man posted up, and he's, on other videos I did on him, he's posting up, he's looking around, he's he's petrified, you know. So I don't know what's going on with this guy. You know, the lightning strikes, and he's petrified, you know. And so I... That's why I call him a reprobate. He just couldn't stand it when he was in the truth or whatever truth he was in. Now, I call on him to repent, you know, to repent. Yeah, this is clearly an ex example why this guy must be in a camp and must be under some form of order, you know, uh, some form of guidance. You know, these guys, neither one of these guys, you can see it's out of control. They don't have any kind of guidance. The one brother... Look, Moses said he wasn't an eloquent speaker. I understand that some brothers aren't the greatest readers. But, you know, come on, man. You know, if he wants to be there, be there. But you got to build this brother up. You know, it's a lot that you has to do. First off, you have to get right. You, you off. You out of control, man. This doctrine, you're saying that the, the two-thirds is not coming back. The Lord said he loves all of Israel. He's going to save all Israel. Look, man, you can't have the elect without the non-elect. It's just that simple. So he only chose the elect to come out of the non-elect. You can't have a non-elect without the elect. So the non-elect was there for a purpose, just for the chosen of the elect. But at the end of the day, this is God's, the most high's people, and he created them. Right? And he controls them. So why would he just destroy them for good? This is a false doctrine, man. And yes, they will come back to the uh to the um through the through the Israelites and be retaught as Hebrew eight say and and redone again, man. That's all I have on that, Shalom.